Hello guys, hello and welcome to another stream of Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing Kaiserreich as the Russian state and we have some fun to do right now. We have been building up a slow and steady empire. Well, actually, that was not what I was going to say. I was going to say we built up and stabilized our nation. Then last stream we built it up. And now it's time to use it to strike down our enemies, which is apparently the entire world, because we are pretty much annexed everyone. Well, except Tibet. For some reason, you guys wanted free Tibet. And sure, free Tibet. Uh, actually, we could probably let them expand. Let's like, like, let's have like Tibet be this or something. That could be pretty cool. But yeah, hello guys, Sake. <laughs> Honored because I went to Finland. Uh, I think there's a photo on my Twitch not too long ago when I was like at a half famous ish place, I think from the parliament building maybe in Finland. So yeah, I have a friend right there who's working at, on a game company there. So I went to wi visit him. Uh, hello, Ice Lord. Hello, Jeb. Freeze Estonia. Don't worry. We're gonna free Estonia da very, very not quickly, but we are gonna free it. So don't worry about that. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, kitten. And I don't know, Eloi, why you want me to play Kalinka. But, um... No, wait. You said it was Jab. What? what? Why did I think... Yeah. Well, Eloi... Why, why am I still saying that name? Jab, you got your Kalinka song from the... Well, intro beginning. But I guess it's kind of fitting since we're playing as Russia. Uh, Hunk the Viking. Hello and welcome. So, let's see. Ice Lord, hope you're working as well, not only watching my streams. Uh, okay, so last episode it really ended with us invading the, uh, well, basically all the Caucasus and, well, Don Q and Union and everything right here, and started going in for the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire is alone, kind of strong, we had some issues with it, but we realized our brilliant, brilliant move of we declare war against the Commune of France, which is in a large enough faction, so we were finally, finally, finally allowed to increase us to total mobilization and service by requirement. Finally getting that manpower, and that pretty much spelled the end of the Ottoman Empire, in a way. Since we haven't actually finished them yet, we are about to, but uh, let's see how that goes. So yeah, I, it was really as I had fun yesterday playing and streaming hoy and I wanted to continue as soon as possible and realized I would have time the very next day. You gave it away this year to save me from tears. I'll give you so pre Ugh, it doesn't work really. Uh let's see. <laughs> oh trigger shiner, that's why. <laughs> Dude unsub wait what? What? I didn't do anything. Oh, well, I called you Illavi like three times, but... <laughs> uh, let's see, so these battles aren't really going as I would have liked to. This one is, but um, that's actually exactly the only thing I need. Two divisions right there, two divisions staying, uh, two divisions going straight up. And that should pretty much let me do a bit whatever I would like to, because... It would be lovely if I could just... Oh, wait, wait. You're actually their... You're not their puppet. What? Arabia, their puppet. Hello, the normal Finn. Welcome. Last Christmas. <laughs> ah, that's why. Yeah, of course, Jeb. Of course, Jeb. I, wa I want to see you streaming. Uh, let's see. So, you moving up right there. You moving down. If we could break this, that would be pretty awesome. Um, all right, right. What I was going to say, what I would love to is actually just somehow break right here because if we just push down in the south then we have an entire ottoman army just completely surrounded right there we could also probably right now since we have a massive superior superior blah, we have a massively superior army and a superior superior can't speak right now so let's just ignore that word and continue with streaming God, I don't know. I've said it so many times, but somehow some words get stuck. Tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's not become completely insane right there. Um, how is this actually working out for you? You seem to be going 
a-okay so if you just get down right there grab that then we are cutting them off from all well all supply zone and if you could just rush down right here then i will slow but suddenly manually leave some units behind and that would probably probably be fine uh it's not xmas why are you singing christmas song well i don't know it's got stuck in my head and when someone gets stuck stuck into my head well i i just do it uh, okay, so where are we in research wise? Uh, we got the next, well, second level tank, and we're trying to get more of them. We are, yeah, sure, 206 a day, so let's actually get the last medium tank right over there. We are having a uh, okay ish production of it, but not really anything that will make a major difference, at least in the war right now against the Ottomans. What is gonna be really, really important is for us to have a large tank army once we start to advance. Uh, into Germany, but hello little tank. You are a bit quicker than most other things. So maybe Just maybe Could you actually help me with surrounding this and just really 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 cutting all of these little troops off actually taking this will take Yeah, we'll cut off all the troops Wow, that's actually kind of amazing. We'll get a quick victory right here. So take that down, that means you're now... Or? No, you are Papa to them. What, what the hell? Did I, did I look right here and somehow decided that they're not a puppet to... Oh. Yeah, that's brilliant, Daniel. That's absolute brilliant. But I guess we can always make a larger surround... Well, another way. Uh, we can always hide behind this lovely river. Uh, let's see. So I want one division there. By the way, did I do it wrong way now? Yes, I did. So I want one division there. These five divisions. I'm going to press right there. Split off one. Right there. Split off another. Right there. Split off another. Right there. Split off another. And then right there. And that's going to be the last guy right over there. Then I'm grabbing you. You're going to move in right there. We were moving there. So that should technically be a full surround of the entire thing. And once we have the surround, we're not going to delay. We're just going to charge in fully and hopefully grab all of that stuff. Please attack right there to expand this little, well, this hole. I really, really don't like having just a one province large hole. If you take this province, this province, uh, this and this, yeah, all of those units would just be completely surrounded. And I really don't want that. So that's pretty fine and good right there. You're actually doing really well for... Yeah, just keep going. I will... Well, I, I'm really praising you right now. You're doing absolutely great. Come on, come on. You can keep doing it as well. You don't have to stop because I'm praising you right now. You can keep going for a while. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. You are... Attack I don't know which unit to actually go... Oh, is that actually a quicker way? Go up right here and then down again? Maybe? Uh, let's see, let's attack right there instead and delay them. They will probably want to defend their capital, so hopefully, instead of pushing forward, they will station some troop right there and let me just continue for a while. I have a couple units right here who are currently moving to the front line, but you're not moving quick enough. So I'm gonna take them personally and just strategically deploy them, so hopefully that will work out. And this lovely, lovely tank is just rushing forward, that's really, really awesome. And there we go, that will be a full surround. If you just walk down right there, all of these divisions, anyone that isn't strategically deploying, I just need you to deploy right now. So we actually close this off fully. Come on, chop chop, get, let's do this. And as soon as you're moving out, come on. Uh, I still need you to get, grab this, please. Take one unit there, one unit charging right here, just to delay them. So that's basically a suicide attack, just go in right there. Hello Terminator, how are you doing? I'm planning on doing a vampire masquerade pen and paper, but I don't know if I should set it in a senior Japanese war well, do or European theater. Please help. I'm actually very bad at vampire the masquerade. I barely know anything about that. So you're probably asking the wrong person right here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's anyone in my Discord that could maybe help you or give you suggestions. But um, yeah, at least we succeeded with this. Even if I'm not good at that, I am half good at least making some couple surrounds right here. Went really, really well. Now we're just going to charge him as much as possible, even though we're taking higher casualties. And we could probably benefit a bit from just waiting a week or two. This exact thing might happen and make my entire attempt go to 100% waste. 
Nope, nope, nope. You're not gonna allow that to happen. You are gonna march in right here. I'm still gonna go keep going with the entire assault. I'm just gonna well, hopefully hopefully gonna break through another path right here. Uh, these two divisions you're gonna attack right there. While these two break right there, and that will liberate us or well liberate liberate that will once again recreate that surround uh let's see do we have any more troops that could be sent right here i don't know you're going in right there right yeah good and you're also going there cool and uh, then that actually just became that we surrounded like two more additional units uh you need to really attack right there you need to push in come on there because we need to keep them consistently surrounded for a while. If we don't keep them consistently surrounded for, like, like I said, a month. No, actually, no, it should be 72 hours. So we need to keep them consistently surrounded for three days at least to be able to fully, well, fully use our surround right now. Because that's about as much supply uh, grace you have. So keep this one for three days and it will be much easier to surround. I'm attacking them straight away so they can't move as easily and break my encirclement. Ah, <sighs> God, I think I have it right now. It was a tiny bit too aggressive of a push, but, um, well, generally it worked out pretty well. So I shouldn't complain too much. Actually, these 14 divisions, where the hell are you? Right, you're still against... <laughs> Is completely by yourself up in nowhere against Finland. <laughs> and once again, apparently one of my divisions broke. No, you're right here still. What? Oh my god, come on. We need to keep it surrounded. God damn it. Oh, I should just. Frederick Ceremony, thank you. Give me more stability right there. Awesome. Uh, Shamominial, thank you much for the follow, much appreciate that, and sorry for slaughtering your name. God damn it, that was a complete slaughter of your name. Hopefully, uh, let's see. Did I miss anything? Shamominial, thank you much for the follow. Yeah, I'm slaughtering that. And god damn it, we finally had the social liberals taking down most of the communist state, that's why they took it all. And now they fight against the American Union state and Mexico, apparently. Oh, actually, they are at war with each other as well. So, US against both with not help of the Entente, but, um, well, uh, oh, wait, you're actually supporting several states. No, no, you're being supported by quite a bit many. Uh, Republic of China have sent volunteers to the United States of America. Wow. So, yeah, we have United States of America. Social liberals, they're going to win this, no problem. And that's most likely the best for me since they can't really ally anyone. So we need to get in right there. We finally broke that. I'm really just trying to split them so we have at least two provinces in between. So they can't just very quickly end my surround again. And I think we finally got it. I think we finally got it. Uh, let's hide that one. Yeah, and we finally have provinces, uh, well, units as well in every single... Well, in every single area right now. So you should start losing supply right now as a minus 26... 0.5% attack and defense. They don't get enough organization recovery and their movement speed is also slowed down. So this should be a, well, pretty much a slaughter right now. And I just got an eyelash in my eye. Ouch. Uh, Italy. Um, Italy still very much stands still. Two Sicilies versus the communist state right there. Uh, it's kind of sad to see, but no one is ever going to win that war. And there we go. We're actually losing infantry weapons right now. We have consistently used infantry weapons as something to just drain factories from. And it seems like, well, it's not being super happy with me anymore. Um, I guess I'm going to build a couple more military factories. We're really trying to build up our um, our infrastructure right now pretty much everywhere. Both for supply and just to have some good places to actually build in. And yeah, as you can see, most of our entire nation is just absolute crap. So we barely have 60% places to build in. Uh, let's see, that's that's not close enough. There we go, here's a couple of 80 percenters. And 7% right there, 8% right there, that's gonna be pretty good. Let's begin with this and then we'll see. Yeah, I'm happy right now. Uh, Italy was regarding incompetence, lol. Oh. <laughs> incompetence, senseless brutality, yeah. <laughs> wow, always picking fun of little, little Italy. Such a poor man. Sad to see. 
But, um, well, I guess both of these are Italians. They just show Italy in their name. And then, of course, we have the Italian... Oh! The Austrian Empire have involved themselves right now. Or have they for a while? I'm pretty sure they hadn't. So, Italian Republic and Austrian Empire, together with Reichsbach, are now pushing back Socialist Republic of Italy. And maybe with both their help, they can make a difference right here. And finally make something happen over here. Hello, Matty. How are you, man? I am A-OK. -okay and, uh, well, I hope you are as well. Well, everyone was incompetent in World War One. Austria and Italy was the most incompetent. Yeah, that's kind of true. Uh, if you just look at the war uh, Germany did against the Austria-Hungarian Empire in... Uh, well in the war leading up to the unification of Germany, that was some skill. That was pretty goddamn well well performed. So Moltke the Elder, and not the younger one that controlled the troops in World War I, uh, he was the one who said that plants never survive contact with the enemy, and basically did entire, well, gave his officers and stuff like that more independence of saying, he said kill the enemy, and they were allowed to figure out how to kill the enemy with, well, Bombs, weapons, rush, charge, gas, and whatever else. Uh, let's see, let's go to speed 5 again. This is kind of fixed right now, and yeah, we are... Oh god, you, you just went straight in for Arabia. I kind of let my Western Front just deal with itself, and... Well, they did what they should be. And now, yeah. I think that was most of the... Yeah, that was most of the Ottoman army. If we just check the current casualties... Uh, let's see, we should see, that's a 24k, that's like 2 free divisions, I think. Uh, let's see, don't we have any large overrun? Or was it just a bunch of smaller battles where you slowly but sadly remove them? And a 5k, I guess it was just a bunch of grinding, to be honest. Huh. Well, it was a while ago we actually eradicated the largest part of the army. Still, I, I, like, I've never watched this list very much until I actually realized it's kind of interesting to see and it gives you a very easy just overview of how many men did I lose the last 12 months, equipment, how much, how much did I lose, how much did the enemy lose. Like, you can see I lost a crap ton by attrition. So, if I was lacking, actually, I am lacking infinite equipment and support equipment. Wow, yeah, we really need to fix that now. Uh, let's see, that's just because we kind of... Remove that to increase the mechanized SP and medium tank. Oh yeah, we really need to build up our military industry right now. Actually, we don't need. We probably don't need to build it up. Once we have taken down all of these areas, we're gonna be a-ok. -okay. Like even small nations like Arabia now. Well, they only have three. Uh, we have Egypt with eleven. We have Ottoman Empire still with thirty-three left. Oh well, thirty-four most likely. So, yeah. Daniel, did uh, you watch extra credits? Right. What's your opinion on? The stop normalizing Nazi video. I I don't know. I mostly only watch their extra history stuff. I don't watch pretty much anything else they do. So uh, I can't say. I haven't watched the video. Uh, I might be able to take a look at it, but um, well, that's a nice glass. It's it just a normal glass. Nothing really special. <laughs> Uh, let's see, so there we go, fix that. Arabia is capitulated, gaining a bunch of fuel. Wow, why was that bugged out? Uh, let's see, anyway, let's scroll down this and make sure units are shuffling around right there. We're not war muscat. Uh, Jonna, yes, I will be at PDXCon. Well, technically, I'm not allowed not to be at PDXCon. Uh, that was kind of how I was told that I was going to be at PDXCon. They were like, yeah, you're going to be at PDXCon. Well, actually, everyone is invited to PDXCon. But it was pretty much said to me. So, you know when you're going to PDXCon, I'm like, what if I can't? They're like, yeah, you're not allowed to not come. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to PDXCon. <laughs> God, if I, like, I would I would probably still force my... Like, it's not that I don't want to. I, I would, of course, go right there. Like, I love that. I love PDXCon. Just meeting a bunch of people, talking crap with like it's nice to see people face to face rather than nicknames on a screen um like even if i was sick i would pretend not to be sick so they can't send me home or anything like that 
Uh, let's see. Let's fix this. Push forward right there. Yeah, the video of them was literally... If you're, if you're playing a Nazi in a video game, you're a Nazi in real life. Wow, they need to separate game from reality. Like... So, if you're a comedian and you joke about Nazis, you actually like Nazis. Well, that doesn't make sense. At all. Like, the only way you give them respect is by treating them with respect. They were insane assholes that shouldn't ever have come to power or had any of their ideals lived up to or anything like that. So, why should you be treating them with respect? <laughs> yeah, oh god, I didn't even think of that, Kitten. All the people that have been playing it in like movies, stuff like that, not even like the allied actors are playing against the people, but the actual. Oh my god, that would be crazy. That would be absolutely crazy. Uh. Uh, gather up right here, thank you. I can't speak for what issues or issues we have not had with other content creators. I don't know. Like, I'm not involved in that part. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit more deaf by that, but yeah. I'll take a look and if people really want me to comment about it, I guess I can, but I usually try to stay out of politics and, well, similar things like that. Like, I play games, I it's a World War II game. Wait, wait, wait! Am I at war with Japan? No? No? They're just at war with the same nation. nation. Oh, you are at war with the Reich Pact. No, wait, you already were. I guess it was just Norway joining or something like that. Like... It's a game, that's basically my opinion. It's a game if you don't literally say or do anything. Yeah. Uh, let's see, god, that's actually gonna be pretty hard to break over there. We'll see. Uh, just take Constantinople and this war will be over. So if you could just push in right there, that'd be awesome. And of course you're criticizing me right now. Come on, you were supporting me not too long ago. Uh, let's get the infantry offensive and sorry about that. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, really? You are actually standing against me here. Huh. Uh, how many men have we actually lost right here? Uh, where am I? There we go. 720,000. And Ottomans, 1.2 million. So, yeah, finally, we actually... We, we In the beginning of this war, I think I had lost, like... 400,000, they had lost 130 or something, so that was pretty goddamn different. They actually had a advantage over me. <laughs> Hello, Latvian. Come on. Come on, just take this down. Uh, actually, can we just get over here and go in from the other side? Yeah, that actually hopefully works. Yeah, good. Sometimes they're defending both of these quite heavily at both, but luckily we just very quickly get over right here Grab it and then push Constantinople from the other side. Otherwise it might have ended really really badly right there I have so many times been just been locked right there in different campaigns just because Well that river penalty and they have like 20 divisions right there But luckily we can just walk over there Cool and here we are basically just attacking because I want to keep them there the same thing here. It really all that matters is just taking down Constantinople and everyone will fall. And because it's Kaiserreich, we don't have any choice right now. But so we're just gonna annex every single one and then we'll see what our options are later. Come on, pass. Take no, not liberate. Just take everyone. Liberate, that's not puppeting, that's just liberating. And there we go, Russian state. Beautiful! That's why. That's right. And uh, let's see. Let's see how make it. Uh, make the borders clean, please. Well, I, I would say this is pretty goddamn clean. But uh, I don't know if I want that. Another one. Send the torpedoes, thank you much for the subscription and welcome to the salt mine. Much appreciate that. Um, and I have some cool glasses right now. <laughs> God, it's... Oh, no, it's just very, very big eyes. I thought it was glasses first. <laughs> Well, thank you much, Torpedoes, for the subscription, and yeah, welcome to the salt mine. 
Let's see, construct engineering right here. We are not gonna do that anymore. I do want the extra division organization and recovery rate. Planning speed, I don't care that much about. But yeah, I really want that organization. Uh, conquer rest, uh, make the borders balkanized. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we do. I, I wanna see what kind of options we get picked between. So why I'm even getting this one since I have been avoiding it for such a long time. It's because of these tank divisions, every single organization bonus that you might be able to get is super important. And I would also like to make some slight changes right now. Where in hell are my tank divisions? Right here. Tank division and torpedoes. You're gonna become one of my few tank divisions right now. There we go. And then let's grab a random one from the chat. The first one I see, Jeb. God, yeah, you you write so much. You always become like the first one, first guy I pick. There we go. Uh, why am I writing with a big J? I don't know. There we go. Uh, let's see. All oh, right, I also forgot. I am gonna remove them from there. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to create a second theater right here. I'm gonna do it with you guys to begin with. Constantine, very good. So let's see. All of these guys, you are ish done. You're missing support equipment, but yeah, that's good enough. I'm gonna grab first 11 division. No, wait, I, you need 10 divisions. So there we go. A sign right there. Finally, having a full front line right there. And uh, the additional 11 division that are completely free, you're supposed to be being assigned right there. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, have one with a. Printers are evil demons from hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I might have missed something. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Um, back to the game. Uh, you just got completely thrown off by that. Printers are spawned. Yeah. Well, printers are usually quite messy and never seem to work when you actually want them to. Uh, let's see. So I would like one either with tank skill or use some other good skills that are useful. Uh, no, that one is ish good, but you all have cavalry leader, so I don't want to pick that one. Uh, I might just steal someone that is already in use. You're actually not too bad. You have engineers, sure, you have the trait that you make better infantry leaders, but it's just speed of experience. And engineer, I really like that one, and it's super useful for tanks. So, yeah, you're gonna be my tank leader. Uh, there we go, 24, but I don't actually know where to use them just yet at least. Uh, why are you supposedly going right there? I have no idea. No specific reason, I guess. So, uh, time to put everything up again right here. So, you're gonna go there. Alright, you are signed there. I guess we have to redo some things now. So, let's remove that. Okay. Actually, god damn it. Let's just do it like this. Remove everything you have. Come on, every single one of you. I don't want to mess around. So, U24 Division against Finland. You are going to be against United Baltic Duchy. Sounds good. Then these tanks, I'm not 100% sure to begin with. Oh, actually, Reich Pact. Uh, actually, yeah, having the tanks down here in the south would probably... Sure, we have Greece right here, which would probably better just taking over all of this with infantry but if I could very quickly storm up right here and then we take another well it will be actually from oh god we do have the Ukraines right th no no let, let's just grab a normal infantry division then so we're gonna shuffle those around we're gonna grab the tanks right here just taking the tanks and storm through right here all the way here block that off and then the infantry can hopefully push in and grab that and we will cut off this entire piece right here. Oh wait, no, they still have Hungary right here. No, wait, wait, that's why. That's why I can cut them off, because you are another faction. So hopefully that might work out. Uh, Toyet, thank you much for the follow, much appreciate that. And the King of Greece is on the Entente, so that shouldn't really be a bother to me. Uh, so these guys, you're gonna focus. All right, since you're not at war, of course you can't draw that line. Uh, let's see, then we have these 22 divisions, you're gonna go right there against White Virginia. And since we do have two spare armies, I am actually gonna do like this. You are no longer gonna have that order, but you are actually gonna 
let's delete that one as well. We're going to put 48 divisions against Finland. Because if I can push out and just bring down both Finland and Sweden. That could actually be a very good like diversion and just a split of their forces. Just take down both of this, remove their tungsten and just a large part of the front line. So 48 divisions up there. Which means you can join up right there. And let's just make line like that. That's good enough. Can we actually pull it like that? No. We have to go around the entire thing. So I guess it wasn't good enough. And now it looks ugly. Come on. Just there. Much better. And then we have 24 extra divisions for something. I think we're just going to throw it in the pile right here. Against little Ukraine. Even though we ha will have a full tank division army against them. We probably need more than that. Uh, Ukraine were actually pretty good. Oh, wow. Yeah, they actually have a lot of divisions. So we're going to need a crap ton more. <laughs> so annexing all that, giving us a ton more factories. That's really, really good. Though we still have the issue. Aren't we going to... Yeah, there we go. Annex... Well, actually acting for all them. And yeah, let's just grab everyone right here. And let's begin. Well, let's begin soon. I actually want to just put them up like this. No. There. no stop it. Stop it. There we go. There we go. Then we put this one right there. This one. Okay, we don't have choice for everything. So I guess that's fine. And there we go. Is that everything? Yes. So, uh, where should we begin? <laughs> Cyprus. Uh, actually, wait. This one is super easy. So, annexation of Persia. We just continue with the occupation. So, yeah. Let's continue with that. Uh, faith or Cyprus uh, liberate them uh, hmm sure sure we, we uh, yeah we well liberate liberate they're gonna be a puppet for us but yeah sure I, I I'll accept that let's let's liberate them uh, let's see annexation of Levant release Syria occupy them well I actually really want that land so we're gonna occupy the crap out of them uh, annexation of Egypt, that's the thing as well. I kind of want that as well. So we're going to occupy them. Annexation of Arabia. God, this is going to become very harsh for my little poor stability. Annexation of German, not as important though. So I guess we could always liberate them. That's just a tiny thing right here in the south. So sure, yeah, let, let's liberate them. Uh, let's see, you don't have very much. Okay, we won't be able to see it until soon. Uh, as soon as we're unpaused. Okay, let's see. Three more. So, the conquest of Anatolia. Allow the formation of a new Turkish Republic. Partition Anatolia between Kurdish and Turkish state. Maintain occupation. Poor stability. Uh, Libya, I don't care as much for either. Uh, it's less of a penalty, but it's still a sizable penalty. So, uh, sure, let's, let's liberate them. That's fine. And they're like just buffer states pretty much everywhere. And then we have annexation of Iraq. Release the Mesopotamian land, divide land with Kurdish and Arab state, or we occupy them. Well, I guess we can occupy them. And there we go. We are right now minus 119 support political power, which isn't too bad. We had a crap ton of it. Pulling power extra, right? We did. Right? Maybe. I don't remember actually, but I think we had a crap ton extra. And now we don't anymore. So, I guess that's fine. Uh, let's see. Russia controls Constantinople. Let's just formally annex the city. Claims everywhere or glory snooze. What? Uh, the dreams of generation upon generation of Russian statesmen have finally come true. We control the Bosphorus Strait and the Mediterranean Black Sea from Petrograd to Vladivostok, all through Orthodox uh, celebrating liberation of city. Um, why? Why? What? Have you heard about the bomb yet? No. No. What? What? Andy, what the hell are you talking about? You can't just say that and... What? No deaths, no injuries. What? Oh my god. 
Uh, I don't know the difference right here. Let's just pick the safe option. Just sure so we don't accidentally release it or something. But wow. Uh, motorized. Sure, let's get that. Let's move everything right here. So how many factories do we have? One, well, we have about 42 we need to assign on something. So support equipment and infantry weapons. Let's put that one up five more. Five more right there. But otherwise, let's really try to get up this and have a proper industry backing up our tanks. Uh, we're going to need something like this. Uh, it was a loud one though. It was detonated by EOD people. But accidentally took down a police utility closet. Oh. Wow. That was lucky. That everything is fine. Uh, also, if they only allowed us to rename Constantinople to Sargrad. <laughs> if we play Russia. Wow. All oh, right, for people who don't know, EOD explosive ordnance disposal. But yeah, that that could have ended badly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, support equipment and weapons, but we're fixing that now, and we're looking better with. Well, we're not looking better right now. We will be since we massively increased production of both of it. So let's add like. Actually, let's do like this. We have two right now, so we need twenty-two more. Before we do anything. So this is basically I think going to be our timer of when we're going to invade Ukraine. Once we have these divisions. Sorry. We're going to invade Ukraine. 3 to 1. Ugh. I would like a bit more SP. But we'll see how everything looks. Uh, Send Omega, join the Union of Britain and our enemy. Yeah, yeah. We're enemy at them as well. Wait, what? Who joined? joined? Did he have a civil war or something? Wasn't it Brazil that you said? No, it was Central America. Oh god. United States, they are doing relatively well? Or have actually the American Union state pushed out further? Or it might just be them actually pushing in more into Mexico, so... Wow. Uh, okay, let's get up the final last artillery upgrade right there. God, we are missing quite a bit. And you need quite a bit for the new deployment as well. Product ceremony, thank you. Give me some more stability. <sighs> uh, Non-aggression state with the papal state. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what they would like actually. Non-aggression back right now. Maybe they saw what we did with the rest. And fear our retribution. Uh, no, you actually pause to go very quickly, please. Thank you. <laughs> well, here in Germany, we still... Dig up one or two bombs every year. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. It was a terror attempt. Oh my god. Little safe Sweden. Uh, let's see. Motorized. Sure, let's accept. Yeah, let's just accept people sending us some stuff. Well, I'm fine with it. If you want to send me some pretty bad equipment, I might need it later. But right now, we're pretty fine. Uh, actually, that's going to be A-OK. -okay. We just have to wait a tiny bit. Uh, and the air we're really good at. It's, wow. Well, yeah, we should really make some changes right now to the division. Uh, I want something like this, if possible. And I would act like to feel hospital to this as well. So that's gonna be quite a bit more required. And let's just do this, that, and that. Then we're kind of slightly decreasing tanks, right? No, exactly, exactly the same. We're just massively increasing the other parts. But I'm kind of happy with this. Just a fat division of firepower. Yeah. That's exactly what I want. And I want it now. So what are we missing? We're missing a crap ton of tanks. And a crap ton of medium SPG. So that's exactly what we're going to focus on. That's a crap ton of tanks. No actually it's not. That's a crap ton of tanks. And then we need 25 probably. Let's up, grab, uh, up that one to 20. Fighters, poor using destroyed factories. Well, we're gonna make sure we fix that. So bump up that and the civilians because all of this is useful. And there we go. <sighs> uh, let's see. Uh, the Minimum India just completely obliterated all their enemies in India. 
Uh, so we'll have to maybe be a bit careful right there. They did fight a very good war right there, so we'll see. Uh, then we have Japan right here. Sizable, but their military industry is not very good at all. Uh, if they actually would have... Wow, you actually starting to get stronger than Japan. You are a puppet to Japan, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, a autonomous dependency. Uh, Tabo TBD, thank you much for the follow. Much appreciate that, and welcome to the stream. Uh, let's see. So, how can we do this? No, non non aggression packs right there. We accept nothing. Uh, let's trade a tiny bit of tungsten, and you're actually not giving me very much, if any. So I'm just gonna trade it like this. Much better, much better. But yeah, military factories. We're gonna continue building them as well. Let's see. We are. Hopefully, we see a bit more. Just oh God, we have so much infrastructure we're trying to build. Uh, yeah, that entire little way right there, all the way to this east. But supply right there is fine, so I guess it has paid off. It definitely has paid off. Oh, you, yeah, salty. I'm sorry, but it went rather quickly right now. We made a pretty big surround and then just crushed them. They almost, almost, almost snuck out twice, but. Third time is a charm, just obliterate them. Huh, okay. What can we do right now while waiting for this well to be finished? Because it's it's not gonna go very quickly, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, a new Russia. Daily power cost factor output. Actually, getting more factor output wouldn't be too bad. So yeah, sure, let's get that one. Anything that would give us factor output right now is uh well, is a good thing in my book. Hmm. What to do? What to do? We could of course remove Afghanistan, but that could trigger... Actually, no. Wait, is, who, who can you trigger? It's someone, is it... No, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you wouldn't actually trigger anyone. But I can't of course justify against them right now since minus 40% right there. Uh, some more volunteers right there. Lovely. We have 3.7 million men right now, so that's very, very nice. Norway it is. Well, Norway doesn't exist. Kano, Finland and Sweden. Both are in the Reich Pact. I'm not going to invade them without my tanks. We need something that will be able to push through. Otherwise, they can probably fight me to a standstill. And I don't want them at standstill. I'm rather going to just sit back right now, relax, take care of something and just chill a bit. Actually, let's see. Could I maybe play another game at the same time? Uh, let's see. What the hell was it called? I got a like in the game just now sent to me, and it actually looked kind of interesting. Just a small clashy game. Maybe we can do something at the same time. Like, let's see. It was called. God damn it! Really, you didn't even write the game in the uh, make war. <laughs> Oh god, I need to install it. Well, whatever. Let's ignore that then. Let's just focus and have some fun with the stream then. <laughs> well, it was like 200 megabytes, but still it might drag down uh, the stream and make it start to lag. Volga Volga. Uh, Volga Volga is a Russian film uh, comedy directed by Yorgri Alexandrov. Uh, released on April 24th, 1938. Uh, let's see, must see its center screw performance on the way to Moscow to perform the talent contest called Moscow Musical Olympiad. Most action take place on a steamboat traveling the Volga River. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two stability right there. Woo! Well, I pretty much need all the stability I can possibly get after just, well, annexing this territory. <laughs> Which is just plain out insane. Just imagine if any world power did that for your life. Like, finishing the war with Ottomans, so like, yeah, sure, what do you want? All of you. Like, yeah, sure, sure, what do you want? All of you. And we're just going straight in with the army, occupying everything. And I'm going to Egypt, occupying everything, Arabia, occupying everything. <laughs> but Yemen and Cyprus, they became free. So we're not all cruel or all terrifying. We're, we're just taking what we deserve. 
Take what you can. Give nothing back. <laughs> uh, the US wants a war with you. Something to do with black gold in the Middle East. <laughs> well, right now I think they're kind of busy still. But they are actually pushing down the, the American unit state now quite quickly. I don't think they will last very long anymore. Yeah, they have all the manpower. You have very little. Actually, both of them are scraping the barrel right now. That's how harsh that war was before one of the nations started taking more and more states. So yeah. Uh, and here, King of Spain is actually fighting bravely against coming to France. They were just holding Madrid. They were very quickly pushed in like half this way. And then slowly, 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 slowly right now are holding on right here. Well, we should, can we send some volunteers? Uh, let's, no, volunteers, volunteers. No, we can't. It must be at peace. What? We're at war? Oh, right, right. We're, <laughs> we're actually at war with them. I forgot about that. I forgot that our, well, that's pretty much our phone in war. You have to be able to justify our, well, increase of mobilization and conscription. And there we go. India finished that off. Well done. And uh, we can't justify that for yet. And it's 125 days. Uh, let's see how we're doing right here. Much, much better. We're fi almost fine with infinite weapons. Support equipment is slow but steadily getting up. About 36 more days right there. We actually have estimated 33 days there. Tanks, I expect a lot more. 370 days and SP 400 days. Wow, really? Hmm. Maybe we can do something about that. Uh, right, we are actually trying to do something about that. Uh, so more military factories, please. Building military factories is actually going faster than most other things right now. Since we have total mobilization, we have so many bonus, uh, bonuses on actually building that up. So let's see, where do we have more good areas? Not good areas, but good areas. Uh, that's 50, 50, 50. Most sort of 60. Really? That was it? That was it? Well... No, you're... Yeah, but of course... It's just a claim right there. There's 70, 70. I guess I'm grabbing 60 as well. 50, 50. I probably have plans to build up all of this. It's just... It hasn't just yet fulfilled. And right now with the military factories, we don't very much need the infrastructure. Uh, let's see, want to build right here. Yeah, SP, yeah, we all the help over them. Uh, let's see, that's almost full. Since you're gonna finish pretty much that much earlier, I'm gonna. Oh, wait, actually, we have already improved my medium tanks. Okay, I guess we're gonna improve you. Let's see, artillery armaments, uh, reliability, bump that one. Uh, what speed do you actually my medium tanks have right now? Four? Really? Now, oh, uh, let's see, medium SP artillery 3.3, .3. what, really? What? You're the one reducing it? Are you kidding me? It shouldn't be that slow. No, it should be 9. Okay, so 9 is gonna be our slowest, whatever. Uh, let's just make sure we don't, well, destroy that then. So, plus 5 right there. It's 9.9. .9. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, bump up that reliability a tiny bit. Uh, engine. No, that's unnecessary. Armor. That's producing liability. But let's bump that one up. One more step right there. Damn, we're just getting a slightly slower tank. But more, more damage, more armor. Sounds awesome. Let's fix that. And let's just switch you out. Thank you. No, that's not my point. There we go. And I'll just make sure, let's hide that one, and let's hide that one. So, yeah, that's correct. Cool. Uh, how do women divisions of death Right. Uh, I think we kind of need to find them. Uh, let's see, we sort by name. And then... Oh, we actually lost one of them, I think. I think we might actually have lost one of them. Didn't we have two of them? Wow, that's sad. Sad to see. Rip. 
Uh, Roaring Thunder 1, thank you much for the follow, much appreciate that, and welcome to the stream. I'm trying to say that a different way every single time, because I actually, well, I appreciate every single one of you, so I think you deserve a unique one, but it's starting to get hard. <laughs> uh, let's see, a new Russia, thank you, European Direction, could start with doing that one right now. Uh, let's see, a n form a n new global alliance. Is that just me inviting all of them? Because that I don't want. I would like a faction, but I would only like it with my own members. So, only my puppets or me should be allowed to be in it. E be in it. Uh, I guess I could always disband it right away, I guess. If it actually invited other people, but... Um, yeah, more recovery rate, sure, we could get that. Uh, let's see, anything else? Yeah, that's just reforming Navy and stuff like that. Let's ignore that. Hmm. Maybe refit to them. Uh, maybe. I don't think so, but maybe. Uh, sure, let's just get that frontline commissar. Well, actually, I don't think I refit to them because they would keep the name that way. They would keep the name. Actually, is it the second or first one that is living? I think I had two and I named the one second. So, yeah, I think one died. And there I hid something. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, what are current fighter? We have like 800 of them. So, yeah, that's not very good. Come on, build up all of these military factories. Both of them spawn with exactly the same name. Yeah, but I think I changed it, didn't I? Limited. Uh, yes, yes, cool. Uh, power projection. Nope, 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 nope. Actually, do we have any kind of navy? Yes, we do. But I don't think I've touched it for the entire game. Because everything we've had has just been so, so land war focused. I highly doubt you would be inviting Imperial Germany and Sid in France automatically. Yeah, that's true. King of Finland wishes to improve relationship. Freaking frick. This will probably s start a war. Should we accept Finland or should we not? Gotta do it for friendship. What What do you mean, Ebus? Friendship is magic? Uh, sure, since you said it. Sure, let's be friends with them. Since we do have a non-aggression pact right now with... <laughs> of course, the normal Finn says yes. But yeah, we have a non-aggression pact uh, with Germany right now. So, we'll see. We're, we're not gonna go to war with them now. Soon, yeah, but not now. So I guess we can always accept them as friends. Uh, fix that. Let's try. Actually, since that we have that one going on and we have industry left to do. So let's begin with that. And as soon as you're done here with atomic research, I think we can do the last construction right there. Uh, so we can squeeze out more and more tanks. And wow, was that really? Oh, that was a level 3 tank. Was that why we. Uh, 70% to... Oh god, 42%, but it's important. Let's just get the best tank we possibly can and we'll see. Uh, I encountered a bit of weird, but with the global alliance, uh, actually. When I completed the claim by Sarabia folk, Romano were willing to join my faction, but for some reason also dragged everyone else he, who he was a f in a faction with. So... No, 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 Shibi, Shibi, that's awesome. That's awesome for telling me. Then... There might be something weird going on with that focus, so I'm just gonna straight out avoid it, so thank you. I much appreciate that. Uh, will be very helpful. Uh, because I can't create a faction just like this. 
Well, I guess I could always just do the focus then deny everyone if you can actually choose which to invite and which to not. That's true. Hmm. I might do that. We'll see. It's the only bug I encountered. You need to complete the focus to be allowed to create your own faction. Yeah, exactly. So that's our main issue and the main reason, my main reason I might actually want to create my own faction. Four million men. God, I, I remember when we were lacking uh, manpower. That feels like a while ago now. Who does want to have you nukes? Well, I, I am gonna get nukes soon. Soon. Well, no, not really soon. Uh, it's not even 43, so it would be ahead of time penalty to pick nuclear reactors. We are eventually gonna do that. Faction focus, ah. Sure, sure, let's just drop on that then. Uh, let's see, so we're doing construction level 5 there. I'm gonna see what people call, because nukes are cool. To the face, to the face. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if any, any Swede actually got that one. The modern 2, modern, <laughs> modern warfare 2 god. Tapes. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Not any good land right there. I guess we just gonna have to actually build up our entire nation then. I think that's the only thing we can do. Just accept the absolute crap of an industry and just slowly but steadily build everything up. And we are missing tons of tungsten, and I had completely missed that. God, I was really reducing our, well, SP. Whoops, that was bad. Uh, Brain Dread, thank you much for the follow, much appreciate that, and welcome to the stream. Uh, Tibet changed the land lease, yeah, sure. So, who did actually win this? Uh, I am dumb. Oh, no, actually, now, yes, one. Yes, one. So, um, I guess we're doing a faction focus once we are, well, once we're done with the one. Uh, I'm disappointed that Sweden did not get an armory form focus that gave natural spirit, Carolian spirit. Yeah, I am also kind of disappointed at that sense. Well, you told me right now I didn't know about it, but yeah, I also get disappointed that they don't have that. It just gives some organization bonus or something like that. 20... Like 20% organization because they pretty much marched in against fire. You're staring at white. What did they say? What was Class saying? Um, march forward until you see the white of the enemy's eyes. So, yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, said. Well, Burn, you should have just heard some of the stuff I said. Saying I am dumb is not even close to some of the bad things I've said during the years. So, I'm fine with that. I am dumb, so dumb. I am dumb, so dumb. Not a back with Japan. Ooh. Flayer Man, thank you much for the follow. Much appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Um, I can't just have non aggression pact with everyone. But since I will go on soon to war with Germany and cancel this non aggression pact, that's fine. Because cancelling that one, declaring war against the other side. Will be good. Yeah, that will that will work out perfectly. So soon. Soon. Very soon. Well, actually not that very soon, but uh, not as long either as you might expect. We're getting more and more tanks. We have more and more factories producing tanks. So slow, but said we're getting this up and rolling. So, uh... Jeb, thank you much for this <laughs> bits. What could possibly go wrong? Exactly, what could possibly go wrong? Getting an alliance with Japan. But yeah, I noticed that you always send the salt, which... It's a nice point, it's a nice point. Uh, let's see, completely new global alliance. Yeah, exactly. 
That's what I want. So, what should this alliance be called? What should the alliance be called? Because now we can make one with all our puppets. Uh, it needs to be something... Something really, really great. Uh, I'll think a tiny bit about that. Far East direction, no. Kremlin project. Let's actually do that one since we are trying to get nukes. Um, great... Uh, I would say third Rome for the lost, but you're not an empire, but a state. Uh, yeah, maybe something like there. UFRS, Union of Fascist Russian States. <laughs> yeah, uh, why not, why not? Uh, yeah, that could actually be something. Family of Mustache Men. I should listen to some music while we're waiting. Roman Empire because you're controlling Istanbul. Sure, but I feel like we need a bit more of Europe to justify that. East, Eastern East Rome. The Eastern, the North Eastern East um, Roman Empire. The Great Orthodox Pack. Yeah, that's, that's kind of good actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Since we are, well, that was one of the big things that was actually written out, written out in our event. That we finally united all the Orthodoxians. Yeah. So let's just capitalize that. The Great Orthodox Pact. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. And Tolian Reich, thank you much for the follow. Much appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. So let's you make sure that. Oh, yeah, they are automatically invited, right? So looking at faction map mode, the Great Orthodox Pact. I like it. I like it. Purse, Purse 96. Well, good suggestion. Very good suggestion. Gop. <laughs> well, Gop might be the sum, like, summer station, but um, that's because we are gobbling up all the other nations. Huh? 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 Nobody? Okay. Never mind. So the GOP versus the RP, SHIF, and the PIS, and the ENT, or the E, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, summarize, oh, I'm like making short word of ENTANT, so the E, I guess. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Uh, let's see, so we have a couple of small nations right now joining our pact. I'll probably make something similar. Like, I'm gonna annex this, then just... Actually, what am I gonna do with Europe when once I'm done with them? If I, well, ever get done with them. Because I need my tanks! Come on! Squeeze them out now! Like, it's, it's surely... Like, this would totally be something that is very classical me. I sit and wait and wait and wait for something to happen. This time the tanks, and then they suck. <laughs> they're just playing out horrible. Shouldn't be this way. I'm pretty sure they should be pretty goddamn great. But I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Make Baltic great again. Independent world powers. Well, that could be a thing of just me, well, having fun in breaking apart all of Europe into small, small, tiny states. Basically as much as possible. Except Denmark, they should, shouldn't should exist, but um, the rest of it, I could accept that. Split Europe as much as possible. Yeah, sure, we're gonna try to do that. We're gonna split Europe as much as possible. We might annex White Ruthenia and Ukraine, but otherwise just 
pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, and break apart as much as possible. Uh, the winner, India, cancel their land lease agreement with us. Well, I didn't know you were land leasing us anything, but sure thing. Uh, we're good with everything else. Very nice. It's just the tanks now we're waiting for. That's really, really awesome. Release the Palpane. What? Free Western Germany and next Eastern part. <laughs> Cough. Uh, the only thing left is for you to take Greece and make it a puppet because Orthodox. Well, that as well. Uh, they are in the town, so yeah, we'll have to go to war with them as well. I actually probably gonna need another army or two. Uh, let's see, your times one, good, but we kind of need more infantry divisions. And this infantry division is actually under, it's not acceptable. I want that, uh, I want this, I want of course the anti-air guns. I would like a bit more artillery to them. And if not too much, ask for one more infantry, that's 30 at least, that's decent. But now we don't have enough experience, come on! Really? Not enough experience right now after a freaking world war? This is why I never should change variants. I always forget that I need to save some for... Ugh. And I don't think I have any theories that can actually give me that either. Kremlin project. Uh, they're not like any bonus stuff right here. They're not any new ones. Nope. Uh, is there anything that would give me arm experience? Uh, that's... Nope, nope, nope. Uh, wow, infrastructure construction speed plus 30%. What? And I've been focusing for such a long time trying to build up infrastructure. Uh, we're going to get that one because we probably need to build more later. Uh, let's see, Navy, 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 Navy. Yeah, don't care about that. I guess we're just going to get the military in infrastructure then. But, um, well, I guess my units are going to have some fun. Start training again. Only after fighting like two world wars. So yeah, sure. We, you still need more training. And more organization there as well. And political power. It's just generally giving more stuff. Can you free ba uh, Bav Bavaria? And uh, can you feed it to Austria? Wait, you want me to feed free Bavaria? And then feed it to Austria? But I've, I... I, I do you mean feed Austria to Bavaria? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna split up Europe as much as possible. If that includes freeing Bavaria, I'm gonna free them. But I'm not gonna feed anyone to anyone else. <laughs> because I tried to do that before, and what happens is that they're just gonna liberate it themselves. So either it's my puppet or it's gonna be someone else's puppet, and I don't want my puppet to have a puppet. So that's one thing that is not possible in the Kaiserreich. You want free Hussars for Austria but and not Prussia? <laughs> Puppet Ottomans and give Vienna to them. <laughs> Unfortunately, like like this that's the same reason. They would just release it. It's super sad. You can't do two weird things. It's either have puppets or everything or annex it. So it's really really those two choices you have in Kaiserreich. There we go, building more and more military factories. Uh, actually, we have filled everything right now. Yeah, we actually per perfectly timed that. So let's bump that one up. Let's bump that one down. And I think we're pretty good. Uh, no, I don't want to see that in fives. Yeah, we. I think we're pretty good now. So 80 military factories right there. Well, at least trying to get it. Uh, let's see, how long before now? 94 days. Yeah, it's really going down much faster than the actual days are saying. Just because of the increase, increase in efficiency and of course the increase in just factories we're throwing at it. Uh, getting both those RPG upgrades, actually the PTRS-41 and the RPG-42 upgrade. Cons more construction, thank you for that. Let's do the next excavation, just make sure that we have everything up and rolling. I'm sorry, Burn, but um, in some stuff it's restricted. And United States, wow, they had a field day. Just annexing everything, but yeah, this is what I'm talking about. And releasing it straight away after. And the end of the American Civil War. 
Well, we'll see what they're gonna do right now. Constitutional convention. So they can finally, they are finally open up this entire path. So they have done pretty much every single focus they, ca they can. <laughs> oh my god. Except the ones that were blocked. So yeah, that one and this one. Now we're gonna be able to see if they actually go anything mad. Like if they go fascist or if they go democracy. And of course... <sighs> if they go down right here. They can have some women corpse as well. So maybe we can fight women versus women. Which female division is the better division? Let's see. Anyway. Should we get fuel storage? Well, we Actually, yeah, we might need it. Just to get a bunch more, more silos. Actually, our production... Oh, yeah. We have such a high oil refinery rate. Yeah, it, we're not going to need any silos. We can just produce everything we need. And more. Come on, get me the last one right there. 72 days right there, and two, wow, 200 days right there. What happened? Did you. Oh, damn it, you lose the tungsten again. There we go. That's gonna be much, much, much better. So let's see, how long do you say right now? 116 days. So yeah, it's still a bit too much. So let's drag this one down to 75, and let's try to increase that one to 30. And then let's just trade a tiny bit more. Tiny bit more. Ahead of time. There we go. That's six more. That's three more factories. It's two for each, right? No, it's actually three for each. That means we're going to be free off, which I don't want. And I'm going to pull that one up one step. Thank you. So training a bit more right now just to, well, avoid doing it later. Uh, let's see. We're going. So let's see. We need three more factories, right? Two more now. So just one more straight up factory and then we're just gonna start building up. Actually, we have almost finished all of that infrastructure now. Cool. Then we're just gonna get more military factories after that. It's really just m massively arming up the army now. <laughs> Everyone should join the army. Thank you, and we might actually have to bump up the infrastructure a tiny bit. Let's see, I think we said level 8 everywhere. So, we need to bump up this way, all the way down here. Oh god, that's terrible. 5 right there. 5 right there, 5 right here. It's really so, wherever we might have our divisions, everyone should have at least one path with 8. Uh, one there, 3 there. Four there, and I guess four there as well. Thank you. So, oh wait, oh wait, you're already done. That's why. Uh, yeah, so we're good. Yeah, then that should be a level eight way all the way down there. Cool. Uh, what else do we need to do? Did we set up the extra divisions? Uh, we set up one, and not how many I wanted, like forty-eight. And now I realize I'm gonna actually need even more than that. Twenty-four, twenty-four, twenty-four. 72 divisions that's what i want or oh, actually no that's what i need so basically this army group is going to be the odd ones so i want 48 division against finland definitely uh it might be that we might even need to be able ugh, need blah, blah, blah. what what does that mean i don't know it might even need uh, it might even be so that we have to pull even more divisions to the Finland border. Just because Sweden and England, uh, Germany might pull up divisions. Actually Denmark as well, but who really cares about Denmark. To the Finnish border and fight is right there. But we need to just get in here and crush them. And then of course we have the lovely little thing right here. I want 24 divisions on. It might be saying overstatement, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And now we're once again back here. Sure, let's get a bunch more factories right there. I always pull it down because I think I'm safe, but I'm forgetting that it requires so god awful much infantry weapons sometimes. And these tanks are pretty much soon done. That's lovely. Uh, you're actually missing artillery pieces? No, oh, the SP ones. SP, you know. Not anything else. <laughs> don't, uh, don't get tricked there. Uh, you actually need two factories first, so let's just even do like this. No, damn it, that was no point, but... Well, whatever. We're fine. Uh, what did I say? 60? I think I said 60. Let's begin with 60. Uh, uh, 
airbrushing done right there, cool. And uh, let's just up, bump up the silos ones because that also increases the 20% fuel gain per oil. And we have a lot of oil and that should pretty much secure everything up for us. And I guess it's time to go European direction. It's time to put this to an end. Reich Pact, it's time for you to fall. Well, soonish. We still need to build up a bit, bit more right there, but eh, you're gonna fall quite, quite soon. Uh, yeah, there we go. So one army right there, one more army right there, and the third army right over there, I think. Actually, you have right there as well. So I guess one, two, three. Yeah, I think that's is how I'm gonna have to do this. One, two, three. If I want to cover everything, the right pack have. Oh wait, no, you're in taunt. You're in taunt, goddammit. So yeah, one. Yeah, one. Okay, we only need really one more. Well, it couldn't hurt to have a couple more extra divisions in case of anything being, I don't know, leaked a bit more. Like, I'm a tiny bit, tiny bit worried right here, I'm a tiny bit worried right there, and please, for the love of God. Oh, actually, no, don't stop training. We're very soon done. God, that probably is costing us a crap ton of equipment. Yeah, like 12,000 infinite weapons. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. But yeah, I need further experience to do all the changes I want to my infantry divisions. And goddammit, that's gonna require me to have even more infantry weapons. If I want to do exactly the same thing I set up last time. Uh, maybe can divert it a tiny bit by adding like one, two artillery pieces more. I guess we'll see. Well, most of these divisions should at least be very well trained, so... At least we got that from it. God, soon. Soon the tanks are coming. Shot through the heart, but you're too you. late. Uh, come on. Tiny bit more. Tiny bit more. Just give me it. Do it. One more day. One lonely little day. There we go. Thank you. So what we need is field hospital. We need support and the air. We need artillery. And we need infantry. Third experience. We are missing 2.8. One. Oh my god. That's crazy. Except anti-air guns. We're fine there. <laughs> But yeah, we're really gonna need that anti-air guns. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need that anti-air guns. We're not actually gonna need more infantry. If we add two more anti-air guns right there, we are absolutely missing anti-air and it's not even funny. So never mind, never mind. Let's accept this. It's easy to build more infantry weapons than anti-air guns. So yeah, we're only missing 70,000 guns right now. So we just doubled our need right there. Uh, artillery piece. Oh my god. We, we, we fixed the tanks. Yes, we did. But we absolutely screwed over our entire freaking army right now. <laughs> okay, nothing, nothing was dangerous. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me for some reason. I was like, wait, who declared war against us? Yeah, no one. Uh, so that one needs to be fixed. This one needs to be bumped up. <sighs> Gonna be tough. But we can make it. We can definitely make it. And we don't need this to actually support... Our current things and um, we're actually missing there let's see let's trade a bit with Siamin then and with a bit I mean a crap ton thank you and then that can't actually be intercepted so we're really really fine there uh, hello guys stop training stop training thank you and these guys should I just deploy them right now no why should I why should I just let them be deployed once they're done we're actually not in a hurry we have another like 40 days right there uh, bring Finland to his knees, demand Karelia, befriend Finland. It's time to retake our land in the west. And that's an ex war goal against Finland. And an ex war goal against Germany and Ukraine. So that's basically just war goals everywhere. I like that focus. I like this focus. Uh, doesn't have a non aggression map for Germany. If it controls one reclaimed areas in the west, well, we're just gonna cancel that one pretty much now. Well, as soon as we're finished with this focus, I think. And um, we are kinda ready with our force. Uh, 62 right, days right there. 160 days. 
We're gonna be fine. Oh wait, we're not gonna be fine since we're still missing this. Oh my god! Come on! I don't want this to be a relaxing stream. This was gonna be our pushing and warring stream. But we have brought down the Ottoman Empire, which is kind of impressive. An Ottoman Empire that brought down all of their enemies that they were backstabbed by. So I, I guess I I can't be too disappointed at it. But I'm pretty disappointed at it. Uh, let's see, I need, I'm going to need some strat bombers for the eventual nukes. I'm going to get this one. Uh, let's see. Anything else going on? Well, military factories are finally being built and really, really fast. It takes like 30 days for one military factory, so we gain like six, seven more every single month. Wow, Shibia, that sounds like an absolute ridiculous war, and that's probably gonna take a very long time for you to finish. Uh, actually, do you want me to call you Shibi or Yordol? Shibi Yordol, I, I just feel like that's gonna end badly at some point, and I'm like, not gonna be able to say it. And I've been doing a lot of weird things with my tongue, tongue today. Let's stop with that, because it's probably weird. Shibi, it's what most people call me. Okay, Shibi. Oh, well, do you wanna be special? Do you wanna be called Yordol here? Like, I'm fine with either. It was just because most people call you that, maybe you want to be called something else. <laughs> so yeah, these tanks are finally gathering up right here. God, that's going to be so important right here. So ridiculous important. That's a massive army. And these tanks are going to have to break through this. Most of these actually might be garrison divisions or militia. Well, we see that works in Sand Spring. Thank you much for the follow. Much appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, fix this. Yeah, everything's cool. Let's just get that one. Ship is fine. I respond faster to that. <laughs> okay. Okay. European direction. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, oh, we can't actually do this one. All oh, right. We need to cancel it. And it's 14 days after that. Well, now we can't do that because we're missing so much other stuff, but we have finally made our infantry units good-ish. <sighs> so, of the good-ish infantry, what are we doing? <laughs> as long as you are no Shibi Timo. What are you talking about? Timo is, Timo is awesome. Captain Timo on duty, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, right, we're gonna go down here, but I can't because we need ugh, the other guy. I guess... Oh, wait, we can't do this one either because we need the other army reformation. Ugh. So, yeah. Um, we can do this, but that's very, very useful, useless. Um, buy state bonds in White Rufania. I don't know what that means. Uh, we have enough money to conclude the agreement, but almost all their state bonds agree with it. We will control their economy, the government, and maybe even incorporate them later. So basically, we can just buy out White Prophenia. Nah, I kind of want to fight that. Hello, Jeb. Uh, well, you haven't missed anything, to be honest. Oh, well. Oh, shit. Okay, we have missed something. Germany is just kicking ass right now. They broke here, French Republic broke there, but Commune of France also broke Spain. So, Germany is breaking France, France is breaking France, Commune of France is breaking Spain, Spain is falling from France. France also broke Italy, while Italy was attacking Italy, and two Sicilies were attacking Italy, which was the friend of the France that got fallen by France and Germany. Does that make sense? Show faction map mode, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and taunt, and taunt, and then we have, well, of course, the... Really? It's not showing? Reich Pact? Because it's shown up here. Wow. Yeah, and the Reich Pact right there, we have the Don uh, Adria Bund right there. We have the Great Orthodox Pact, Cold Prosperity Sphere, China first. And yeah, we're going to war with the uh, Reich Pact soonish. Uh, let's see, we have a bunch more infrastructure we do want to build. So I guess we can always go in right here and get the construct engineering right there. 
Youth organization given youth organization giving us more manpower. Very good. And we only have 1.7 million left. Wow. All our changes to our army have really drained that. Like we're probably pulled out another two million men on the field. So now we're 5.7. That's that's fantastic. So 117 days right there. Yeah, I don't like that. I would like to, that to go a bit faster. Uh, you're probably going to be fine at 50. <coughs> and you are not going to need 75 anymore. Uh, let's see. What else? What else can we do? Actually, you're probably only going to need 60. So let's do that. And uh, you're going to be pulled down to 20. Actually, you're not going to be pulled down just yet. You're still lacking it. Uh, King Venom Stream Medge. Thank you much for the follow. Much appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Uh, okay, artillery pieces are fine, weapons are ish fine. It's really motorized and support weapons are currently not fine. Uh, mot oh god, actually we really really bumped up motorized and support equipment right now. So it should be alright kind of soon. Surpa requirement is reducing that, but yeah, it, we're kind of fine right now. Uh, we can stop trading a bit tungsten, thank you. Uh, we need to trade a bit more rubber, thank you. All oh, right, for the uh, motorized right there, and it screwed up the fighters. Let's get five right there. Come new front has capitulated. Great news, yeah. And the Union of Britain, while well, they're still strong right there, so I don't think that faction will end anytime soon. But this just made their little Germany a bit more powerful. Though you are scraping barrel, and you only have a hundred thousand men left. I wonder. Actually, it's being reduced right now because you're reinforcing so many men. You can't. Damn, there we go. So you're getting about 100k every single week. I could probably kill more than 100k every single week. Huh. So that might actually be a thing. We could probably drain them out. So right now we have 48 divisions signed there. That's fine. Uh, we have 72 divisions just right here waiting for orders. How many did I need? I needed just one more, right? There, there. Uh, I could accept two more. Just add it right there and one more there. That's the only thing we need. So I do not need 72 right there, which means I don't need as many reinforcements. Let's see how many there. Uh, 60, so I need to remove... Um, Quite many more. That better? Okay, uh. Oh, damn it, I need two more now. I guess both of them are gonna be 23 out of 23. <laughs> no, that's gonna be super annoying. Come on, come on, just jump up right there, add two more. And that means we are pretty much done. We only are missing a tiny bit of motorized. Yeah, that's much, much better. I like that more. Uh, I'm gonna cancel our non aggression pack right there. We're gonna cancel all of these non aggression packs. Kjavklov, Kvilakov, Kvilakov, uh, yeah it's fine right now and we're just about to go war with the Reich pack. We're just making the absolute final preparations and then we're gonna have some real fun. Uh, deploy those, damn it, that was not my point, uh, times one right there. Grab these 46 divisions, split them in two, grab 23 divisions, sign right here in the far far south. Uh, sure, doesn't really matter. Actually, it kind of does matter a tiny bit who we pick because we still have a couple of good commanders left. So why the hell shouldn't I pick them? And then I want this guy. Both of you join up right there. 23 divisions more right there, please. And then you guys... Oh, I assigned the wrong guys now. Well, whatever. Uh, no, actually. There we go. Now you can be assigned right there. I want to keep some kind of structure that these guys are like in the middle, these guy is at the bottom and similar things. These guys are at the top and they kind of correspond to that. Uh, so let's see. Are we ready for this? Yes, I think we are. Constructing near. Nope. It's time to retake our lands in the west. This is going to be a difficult war. But I think we can do it. Germany, they are, well, they're going to be able to. Well, they're going to be able to use their full force and beat me back. Uh, I have an aggression pack with these guys. Um, we're going to... I'm going to put these guys here at reserve. I'm actually a bit worried right now. We do have the non-aggression pack with Japan right now. So we probably don't have to worry about 
well, attacks from the east. But I'm a bit worried right now that our army is not actually strong enough. <sighs> is everyone in position? I think they are. We have all our tanks ready. These guys coming up for reinforcements in case I need it. Uh, is everyone in... No, no, no. Wait, is everyone in position? Really? That quickly? No. You are not even moving. Because I forgot to assign you right there. Come on, get down right there. So, the more time I give them, the more time they are gonna, well, be preparing right now. So I should really declare war as soon as possible. This year's extra reinforcements to the south, it's not gonna be a really... Op do it! Let's just do it. So, you guys are gonna attack right here very aggressively. Uh, these guys, uh, you should be at the bottom right there, and you should be beside it. Uh, these guys, actually, even more to the bottom. This guy there, and this guy there. Yeah, good. Everything's, everything otherwise is perfect. So, uh, just from division to division right now, we're gonna just look this up. You're attacking, you're at the far bottom. You up here in the north, sure, you can actually attack and just try to rush in and bring down Finland. So that makes you finished. You, uh, I don't know, this is a fort line, I would like to grab if possible. Uh, we can do an initial assault in case of them actually joining the war initially. And then we have these guys. You are going to be very careful. Oh god, you don't even have everyone being the normal division, wow that sucks. But yeah, you're going to attack carefully. And then we have these tanks. Well, guess what? You are not going to attack carefully. You're going to go uh, complete batshit. So, just rush in as much as possible. Uh, White Ruthenia. Um, hmm. I think we're just going to assault them both of these as well. Yeah. So. How are my tanks doing? That's better. That's a lot better. My infantry actually seems to be doing more damage right now, but... They have such massive penalties right now to train, so I'm not surprised. But the speed, the strength, the very small amount of damage you're actually going to take, that's going to be the biggest difference. So we're going to declare right there separately, separately and just make sure that... Uh, wait, non aggression pack. Oh, we can't actually cancel that one right now. So I guess they have to join another way. Um, we can cancel it 28th of September, so soon-ish, but not now. Uh, right here in the south... You're in the right track, but we can't declare that war. Really? Sweden has been called in. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Yemen want to join. Well, we're not going to invite any one of my ally just now. So yeah, it's really just a mass assault doctrine. That was why I was waiting for such a long time. I want to make sure that we can just go in and crush them. Because if we don't crush them quickly, then they can really stand up to... And, well, there we go. A bunch of people joining up right now. There we go, Finland joined, and are we actually breaking them? I think we are. Having those 48 divisions right there is going to be really nice. All things history, thank you much for the follow and welcome to the stream and the assault. Uh, and here, wow, they are just standing the ground right there. Come on, break them, goddammit. Uh, take one of these tank divisions, actually take two if we have two. Yeah, they're doing good enough, and they're defending, they have good anti-air defense. Like, that was one of my main issues. I was really expecting them to have a massive air superiority against me, and that's exactly what they have. That's why we really focus on getting those anti-airs to every single one of my units, and making sure everyone have it, because then they shoot down the close air support. Uh, let's see, so, these guys, you are not there yet. Come on, get over there. Uh, why are you... Right there, then, yeah, you should switch place. Both of you guys pushing in right here. Very good. Uh, let's, sure, sure, let's attack right here. Bam, 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 bada bam, bam. Uh, what happened to the modern day Sweden campaign? Uh, the game just lagged way, way, way too much. And basically, it was, I don't know, how should I describe it? Two hours for half a year gameplay it was just not fun to play anymore so i decided to end that one until probably the next uh next update uh it doesn't really matter which folks we does actually it might matter a tiny bit because i do want to repair everything as much as possible uh i'm gonna delay that turkish expansion and really just focus right now on repairing everything we're taking uh, yeah, it became too slow, and hopefully they're gonna update this. Uh, well, update the mod and maybe fix whatever it was that slowed it down so incredibly much. 
And now we actually kind of stuck. There was what I was worried about. White Rufania, you're not doing well enough. Okay. So these guys, it's time for me to stop this. Push. Ish. And let's see. You guys, you're down there. That's fine. But yeah, these three guys, you are going to get one general order against like, this entire front line now. It's going to be pretty goddamn crazy. Uh, why is, Pol is Poland not part of your faction? Or are they just not? No, they're actually not part of your faction. Okay. So these guys are actually very much going to be needed right here. So I'm just going to send them straight to the front line now. Cancel that one and send to the front. So as quickly as possible, get over right there and just help me fill up this line. The only one that's actually strong enough to push right now seems to be the tank division. And for me to be actually be able to use them optimally, I need to do this. And really just some really, really close down them. And really have them focus on one front line so we can take them down. The rest of you just defend right now until we get all the additional forces. That is also one of the main reasons why I really try to build up the infrastructure right here. I expect that it might become something like this, so... Just having another army close by to reinforce that entire thing, that's going to be absolutely brilliant. You take down that, excellent. <coughs> and you're part of this force, so I guess I might send you down to the south right here. And yeah, you guys, I kind of want you to be assigned right here. So I'm actually going to pull you up right there while I take these divisions and send you down. Actually, we can do like this even. Uh, take this guy, assign right there. And then 46 divisions are assigned right there. Yeah, that's awesome. So both you're being control of one field marshal order of two units up there. So you're basically furthest north and furthest south. <laughs> uh, let's see. So tanks, 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 tanks. Uh, could you maybe do something right here? Just make a small little surround here and I would absolutely love you for it. Excellent, uh, take one tank, come on, break that, and then take one tank and fall back. Uh, hopefully you're gonna bring this down now, come on, come on, thank you. Uh, take one infantry division, move in right there, take one tank division, move in right there. And there we go, surrounded, and now just wipe this out. Wipe them out, all of them. It's a trap, oh damn it, come on, come on, come on. You can't, you can't do that after me doing my Star Wars impersonation. Come on, destroy that. Thank you. Now take this down. Don't let them have any kind of front line that could possibly be united. There we go, much better. Much, much, much better. And that's a bunch of German division that are... Bye bye. Uh, as soon as we finish this, we're gonna double check what the numbers are. Akio 001 thank you much for the follow, much appreciate that, and welcome to the stream. Wow, really, those, those Germans? Come on. They are just holding the ground. Well, I, 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 I salute you for that, but um, unfortunately it won't matter. You're going down either way. Yeah, we're actually fine with this as well. So, the only thing we can do... Well, we can do many things. But the one thing I do want to do... That's a very different thing. It's just getting more and more tank divisions. We're slowly but steadily going to change out our entire army to more and more tank divisions. Just spread them out a bit. So the more you spread them out, the more you have these, well, extra divisions here and there that are actually making quite a big difference. Having just a few tanks spread into the army is when, once you, like, if I used to do a general push right there, if I had one tank there, one tank there, one tank there, it's just some small, small security checkpoints here and there that could actually make a massive difference in ending. So that's pretty much what I'm going to try to do. So, let's see. Could you please push this down now? Yeah, you're losing, losing supply right now. Come on, just push them down. Shouldn't be very hard. Uh, actually, all of these guys stop. Tanks, 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 tanks. Attack first and only. And you should be able to basically keep this up until, well, they fall back. So you shouldn't be able to damage my divisions very much. Or we are actually failing here quite spectacularly. Wow. Yeah, that's a spectacular ending. And that's absolutely terrible English. Uh, let's see. Take that down and you guys focus right here again. 
Just bring this down. God damn it. I wanted to see the losses after this, but now it's gonna be a hell of a lot more losses than I thought. Come on. Yeah, that's a crazy amount of divisions they have right here. Probably like 20 in total. Uh, oh shit, sorry Latvian, I completely forgot about that. I'll, I'll check that first thing tomorrow. I was late to work because of SL and it just completely blew out, flew out my mind. I'm gonna ask one, some, someone tomorrow, sorry Latvian. Uh, God, they're just jumping back and forth because they're constantly getting wiped out right there. Uh, let's see, how are we actually doing here in the south? Oh, what, right, we never executed that just yet. Let's do it and see what happens. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I could see that's good enough for this. Just slightly, well, actually now we're losing everywhere. I, I don't want to lose everywhere, God damn it. So I guess we're just once again gonna execute one of these order and that's an order one. So shift click there, sh come on, select you, shift click, shift click, there we go. Okay, and there we go, finally surrounded right there. Let's make sure we assign, let's see, you are assigned right there, so you are assigned to the main front line, please. No, you're the north. Right, it was only you guys. And you guys, right, that's how it is. So everyone get assigned right there and grab this one. And assign. There we go. Yes, yeah, so everyone is joining up at correct front again. Uh, let's see. You apparently have lost two divisions, but that should be kind of fine. And let's just scroll out right here. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's grab the tanks and just focus a bit more here to the south. No, I don't want two front lines, that's what I want. Just straight here. Come on. Central centralize the tanks a bit more. So either what you should do with tanks, in my opinion, is really really centralize them as much as you bloody can, or spread them out. But not too much, that's the thing. They need to be spread out, but they need to have like you need to have one every three, four infantry divisions. So I think that's a pretty really good combo. So everyone right here, yeah. Everyone is down and ready. Cool. Okay, two more. Come on, shuffle, 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 and then charge in right here. And then we're gonna do a massive assault over the entire front line again. Now we have a massive extra superiority. And let's make sure that everyone is very aggressive. Thank you. And let's see, can we bleed them dry? I think we can, but I would, well, I would like to avoid doing it. Let's see. We have the Russian state and the Great Orthodox Pact. Lost, uh, well, I've lost five, five and a half, well, 0 0.5 million. Uh, Germany, 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 where are you? Well, actually, I can see here. We have lost, well, they have lost 150, 1 1.3 million. Uh, let's see, 600,000. So, yeah, we're doing really well right now. We are just dealing punch after punch right now. So, attacking the entire front line um, should actually be done very carefully. I was for some reason thinking the other way around because all of you are really just oh really you're still attacking pretty much everywhere I guess it's because I still have a massive superiority it's mostly a distraction for the tanks if the tanks can do whatever they want and just push in here in the south quite quickly then all of the other units are distracted and have to be forced away if they're gonna actually help the south if they're forced away to help the south then the tanks are gonna be, well, the rest of the divisions are just gonna be able to push in. But the rest of the divisions are now keeping everything busy while the tanks are pushing in. So, I think this is gonna work out very, very fine. Yeah, just keep going. Uh, small surround, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. But I actually think you guys are gonna be pushed back before we break that. So yeah, just keep going. At least you can, oh actually you are piercing my armor wow really how well I guess it might be because of the massive amount of SP I added maybe we should switch that out yeah we only have 60 armor that's not too much I might have to look into that and see if we want to change that rush B rush Berlin yeah. Uh, come on, let's clean this out. If you don't want to do it properly, then I'm gonna do it for you. 
How are we doing with equipment? We're actually missing weapons again. How, like, I've never been missing so much weapons in any campaign ever as I've done in this one. It's just absolutely crazy. So, let's fix that, that, fix that issue once and for all right now. Um, let's see, didn't we upgrade a bunch of infrastructure? I think we did. Uh, is it mostly here? Well, I guess we got a couple of more places right here. 60, 60, 60. Here, the way of 60. And uh, that's 50s. Ah, that's fine. And Helsinki, could we please grab the capital? Thank you. God, we are losing so many men right now. Yeah, that's another half million. And you and the tanks are not doing as much progress as I would have hoped for. So let's just sit back and relax right now. Let them push in to us so we can grind them down a bit before we continue. Uh, let's see, these tanks, yeah. As I half expected because, well, of course it's me. I'm kind of disappointed at their performance and they're not doing as well as I would have hoped for. Sad. Uh, let's do this. Let's pull that one down and really focus everything on weapons. <sighs> it's ironic that I encircled 100 Austrian divisions in the Carpathian Mountains. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, you are you actually trying to push me out now? No, it's still some divisions. Some are reshuffling and being stupid. Oh god, didn't I stop this? Come on guys, stop. And the same thing right there. And then you can shuffle in, and then you can shuffle in. There we go, much better. Ugh. And we're gonna have to do stuff like this. Take all of these guys, attack there in one gathered assault. And hopefully this will take them down. And we'll have to, yes, slowly but steadily take down all promises one by one. We have, let's see, 1.1k fighters, but that's everything. That's like everything, everything we have. We have never really been able to expand that too much. Embarrassing, really. The east is lying completely open, but luckily we got that non-aggression pact. And here the south, well... Actually, how are we doing right now? How are they doing? You have lots of manpower. But oh, wait, we're not at war with you. Romania. Bulgaria. You are goner. You are almost a goner. You are almost a goner. You are almost a goner. Well, actually, you are a goner. You are a goner. You are almost a goner. So most of these nations actually have no manpower. It's only Germany that actually have some. And then, of course, we have me, Russia. I have 1.9 million left. And we have a couple more levels, including switching down this one level. And including switching Doctor in one level. So we do have a lot more manpower than they do. So we could really just be fighting an absolute grinding war and just force them to die slowly. I would like to not do that. But it might be the best option now. Yeah, that, that won't work. And how much losses did I actually take from that? Yeah, you're part of this order. Yeah, you you took 6 to 1. That's not good enough. Not even close to good enough. <sighs> oh shit, wait. It's 10 past 9. Yeah, god, I, I can't actually stream anymore. I need to end it right now. Shit. Um, <laughs> when to forget about time. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream and stream two days in a row. Woo! Haven't happened in like forever. Holy shit. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to end it right now. Uh, let's see. <sighs> God, I insane. Uh, forgetting about the time completely. But thank you guys for joining me for the stream. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That you will, well, join me next time whenever that will be. And uh, let's see if we can hold someone. Uh, I kind of want to give back one more to Danks Beamus because he hosted me before, but I haven't actually... Yeah, sure. Uh, wait, you said Jeb is streaming? Uh, let's see. Let's try that then. I don't know. I've never seen his stream. I've never done anything, so let's hope it's good. But anyway, guys, hope you, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.